Hello, everybody. And boy, do we have some exciting... Mardi Gras! <laughs> no. This is actually not Mardi Gras. Uh, dude, it's been so long since I've said Mardi Gras. It has been quite a while. It's been like a week, I think. No, it has been way longer than a week. Yeah, because I haven't said it. I haven't said it for the past like three TTV episodes. Yeah. Okay, so as you may tell from the title of the video, we have some big news to announce and to talk about <clears throat> formally for the first time, even though things have been in the works for quite some time. Uh, we are going to New York Comic Con. We're not going to beat around Woo! the bush. We're not going to build suspense. We're going to New York Comic Con. That oh, is. Wow. Although that that. That building suspense and beating around the bush is what we've been doing for like the past two months, mess up. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> not many people have picked up on it, but Var like make and Var and Kahi make all these cryptic remarks on our message boards. I did, well, I, I kept hinting. When did I when did I buy the ticket? It was like right when they announced that Lego was actually going to have a uh, a panel there. We didn't even know it was Bionicle back then. This is before they officially announced it. Before we got the official image. Yeah, we've had for, our tickets for a while now. Yeah. yeah, I I got it because my family was staying up there, and uh, I was right. like, hey, I gotta go visit them over fall break. I'll go, you know, uh, see Comic Con if this panel happens to be. Uh, yeah, you know. and then I, I remember you were all like, yeah, I kind of wish I was going with someone though, and I was like, you know, I'll go, and then we were like, you know what, let's bring Meso too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It, it kind of spiraled out of control fast. We were initially going to send Kahi as our agent to like cover right, and stuff. And and stuff but uh, it kind of spiraled fast from there so yes myself var and kahi will be attending new york comic con and this is a big deal because yeah. it's the first time any of us are going to meet in real life well, i'll see the first time i've ever been to a convention so that'll be interesting and new york it's city the second time i've been to a convention but it is the first time i met these guys in real life which is kind of odd considering that i've known them for like going on five years now yeah, I know. It's, I've I've known you guys longer than I know my IRL friends. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? That's legitimately true. I have three. No, I have four friends that I knew before you guys that I'm still keeping contact with now. All my friends have been new through college. You know so. what? The funny thing is, after this, I can't even differentiate you about you guys from them by saying IRL friends because exactly we'll be IRL friends. Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> quite the first time. <laughs> but yeah, basically, yeah, we're all going to Comic Con. First time seeing each other. First time going to New York City. All that good stuff. And we've had our tickets for a while. We have literally been hinting at it. I remember on the forums, one guy was like asking if we would do the ALS bucket challenge, and I was, I, I literally straight up said, "Oh well, um, I guess I'll see you in October." <laughs> I did. Yeah, and that also, uh, that thing, like you could tell how early that was. Good. The ALS challenge died in like early September. <laughs> You can check the uh, that graph on Google for like how many Google searches it gets, and it peaks right around like August, and it just there's a huge drop in how much the LS challenge. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be doing the LS challenge. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna do it. We're yeah, but it, but it was still kind of it, it's a hint. It, yeah, it was a it possibility of doing it because I came be, out I came was, out and straight out said it like either today or yesterday uh, in a tweet to uh, at Barbara Dunkelman because. The, it turns out Rooster Teeth is going to be at New York Comic Con too, and their panel is actually on the same day that the Lego panel is, which so, is awesome. Which is awesome. I love those guys. They were awesome at RTX. Do so we know the timing yet? To see if we can get both. Uh, not sure. I I think Lego's panels are earlier in the day though. Lego's panels are at one. Uh, Rooster Teeth panel is at two fifteen. So ah, uh, we would probably be missing it then. We'd, well, we actually, because we have uh, we have passes, we can just go into the panel. We don't need to wait in a line for it. But we would need to wait in a line for, for the Rooster Teeth. Yeah, we would have to wait for Rooster Teeth, so we right. might not so be able to get into it. It would be better if Rooster Teeth's panel took place before Legos, and that way we can leave Rooster Teeth and go straight to, to the Lego one. But oh well, you can't always get what you want. Maybe yeah. we'll see them on the show floor or something. Yeah. Think, so this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be at the event. We're going to be covering everything on the show floor whatever is there for Lego, whatever may be on the show floor for Bionicle. We're going to be bringing you footage and coverage as it happens. We're going to be attending the panel. We're going to be probably live tweeting, uploading pictures to our website, writing a bunch of articles, you know. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what their camera policy is. I know a lot of panels don't allow um, cameras to be used and some panels do. So I'm not going to say that we'll be able to take any pictures or any footage of the panel itself because yeah. that 
That yeah, that's just a promise we wouldn't be able to keep. But at the very <laughs> least, we'll probably be live blogging it. Yeah, we'll definitely be like tweeting it out. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll be tweeting it definitely because I'm, I've gotten to the habit of tweeting things. I now. don't use Twitter, but I I will probably go ahead and make a Twitter handle now just for this event, and I'll probably use it for future events too because I feel like that'd be useful for our community to kind of right get same, some insight same on with us. Me. That's what I've been doing now. Uh, even though that we might not have like actual photos or stuff at the actual panel. We will be on the show floor and we will be like, you know, making videos and doing that kind of thing. Yeah. We'll also be doing like vlogs up to the point because, you know, this is the first time we've met each other. We okay, have to yeah, this. expect quite a lot of those. Yeah, Meso's right. taking a train, so he's literally going to be riding the hype train to Bionicle 2015. Quite <laughs> literally. I'm going to be driving. 27 hour train ride. Oh, Jesus. You're insane, for, like, insane Meso. 16 hours to New York. And Vars can take like a. Yeah, longer. you you're both insane. I'm just taking a plane. It's like three hours. <laughs> I, I I crave the solitude. It's gonna prep me. Oh my god. Event. I'm gonna catch up on stuff like Avatar that I, that I haven't yes, watched. Yes, you that, should watch Avatar. That, that is definitely a great time to like catch up on TV shows, though. So. Yeah, if I had if I could watch TV while driving my car, I would totally watch like. Game of Thrones or something, because I need to catch up on that. <laughs> well, you can, but, you can listen to a bunch of podcasts and stuff. Yeah, I, I've been listening yeah. to a bunch of podcasts. Probably not our podcast, because I hate my voice on the podcast. But uh, a lot of RT podcasts. Yeah, your, a lot your of voice is pretty crappy. But... Well, you know. Hey, can't always get what you want. If I had a perfect voice, I'd be too perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. boy. Expect uh, stuff to turn <laughs> everything, Bionicle, everything, Lego, and just a bunch of vlogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're we're gonna be at the VIP event too. I don't know if you mentioned that. I know you mentioned the panel on the on the show floor. So yeah. Right. Right. We're also gonna be at that, and we're gonna be doing. Uh, we also have an extra day after the convention where we'll also be like hanging around New York and uh, doing some like skits or something. I don't know. It kind of depends what goes on there. We haven't planned our day out after that. We're kind of like taking things as they come. So. I don't know what kind of videos you're going to see from us, but you're definitely going to see some videos because we would not, you know, we would not uh, miss out on this opportunity. I will put it to you this way. Uh, the channel, for the most part, will probably consist of ma a majority of um, Comic-Con videos for about a week there because I, I imagine we're going to have a lot of stuff. Yeah. We're also going to record a, uh, a podcast live. We'll, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be recording a, a podcast. It'll be awesome because it'll be the first podcast where we're all sitting down in a single room rather than using Skype to communicate. Yeah. It's going to be interesting, like, are interrupting. We, like, call the others on Skype and get them in, too? Or, like, what are we going to do? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, we might bring in LJ. I don't know if we're going to bring anyone else in. I'd like to do, like, an actual video podcast. Where right. We have that's yeah. what I would like to do because I, I feel like, um, yeah, I, I would like to try and see what our podcast would be like without a delay in Skype or anything. Yeah. Right. We so, can have, like, the others can do their while the main hosts are away thing if they really want to. Okay, yeah, and yeah, LJ also submitted the idea that we might have two podcasts. One that's live where we're, you know, in, the, in New York City, and then there's one that LJ would do with everyone else still back at home. Which will so. be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we me, Meso, and Var up in NYCC, and probably like LJ, Viper, Ben, X, and Takuma, I think, are the people that are back here. Yeah, so. doubtful they'll all be on at once. Yeah, I don't know if they'll all be there, but uh, they, they might, uh, because um, we just filmed Envy's uh, going away thing, so we know, like, He's not going to be on the channel to come that time, and we can schedule it on, like, a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, unfortunately, we're not going to be at Comic-Con for any other days other than Thursday. We're only going to be there for Thursday. Um, I know that we will be in New York for a bit longer, but, yeah, Comic-Con only Thursday. Right. But uh, any, uh, any community members out there, you guys going to Comic-Con, be sure to hook us up. It'll be cool. Yeah, yeah if you, any of you guys are out there and you want to kind of meet up or, you know, do a no cook thing, you might even be make your way into one of our videos or something. Yeah, it'd be we'll, cool. To, we'll find something fun to do. It'll be cool to meet people, so that'd be awesome. It will be cool. I've I, never done that before. I already know a few people that are going to the panel that we know, so that'll be cool to right. talk to them. Um, <laughs> Who probably didn't realize we were going to be there until now, so... Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, surprise. You can't escape TTV. <laughs> We're everywhere. Oh, man. Yeah. 
So, but yeah, it, it should all be very, very fun. So stay tuned for more updates and whatnot. Comic Con is on the 8th, for those who don't know. Ninth. No, it's on the 9th. you're right. Yeah, that's when my plane leaves on the 8th, sorry. Right, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> thinking the same thing, too. I'm like, I'm going to leave on the 9th. No, I have to leave on the 7th, because I'm going to be driving. Same. Right, yeah. So Comic Con is on the 9th of October, so that is in about two weeks. It will be a lot of fun. Yep, and I'm having a ton of bionicle news according to greg he keeps dropping hints on the lego message boards we're gonna know for sure whether it's a reboot or a continuation after comic con so that right, we get story like, details we might get like hints on what they're actually going to be doing for the bionicle like if they're going to do a TV I am, show or video game or i am something. pretty sure we're if if the sets aren't there on display we will definitely get some kind of visual on the fun the finality of the sets like uh Mm, yeah. I, I I would imagine so because I can't really think there's no way we're going to go to Comic-Con and it's just going to be a bunch of mask of creation concept art. Uh. <laughs> I think they, they posted that because they they could post that. They're like, "Hey, what can we do? We have all this cool concept art we can post." Yeah, no, exactly. That's why That's not going to be their main thing at Comic-Con, definitely. They wouldn't post that like a week before. Yeah, we'll definitely get a look at the final sets. And I know the um it's actually kind of interesting because it, I really have to question how final those sets were in the uh, leaked photos. Because if we're going under the, the assumption that um, the mask of creation is in fact that mask on the display, man, that's early concept. Yeah, we always used to talk about whether this was just like a proof of concept thing or if the sets were actually final. And if that, assuming that mask is the same one, then I, I would imagine all the sets are going to change no, dramatically. No, it could be different. I mean, the, they, on the display, it's a 3D image, right? And they have concept art of the mask of creation, kind of. Yeah, see, I think this, they would have settled the design before creating a 3D. This octopus. is what makes me think, because looking at the concept art, it's very clear what kind of design they were trying to go for with the mask of creation. And it's you, you can see a clear evolution from the initial concept to the final design and none of those designs match what that mask on the display looks like so i'm wondering if that mask is a completely different mask or if it really is just that early but you bring up a good point because why would they make a 3d model of it if it was that early right yeah. exactly if they're just doing concept art then you know i get that but why would you render out just thing? that being said there are a lot of like preliminary sets built so it might have been like a prototype yeah, I know we, we were having a conversation out, outside of recording the, about um, preliminary like Hero Factory sets and how much they change from preliminary designs to the final right, sets. Right, definitely. Sometimes yeah. they change yeah. a lot, but not always. Sometimes there's barely Those any change. Those sets are also going to change, like the leaked ones, because one, it has the Ignite up in the corner, and it's obviously going to be the mass creation. They're really pushing the mass creation. Yeah, no, the Ignite is not the main mass. Ignite is not going to be the main thing at all. So uh, those, I mean, they could have a lot of different designs. I'm, I'm honestly sure that Golly is going to see the most drastic change yeah. in design. But ah, we will see for sure. For Hachi all the way. <laughs> for Hachi, for Hachi too. No, I'm. Gonna, I, yeah. I would. I'm confident in saying that there will probably be some kind of change. I don't think those sets are final. So yeah. How much that change will be? No clue. It might just be like a few changes. I know, like the. Uh, there weren't a lot of changes from the preliminary uh, original Bionicle sets to the final ones. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, Comic-Con will be fun. We will definitely do full coverage. We're going to we're going to write up on everything, record videos whenever we can. We're going to write up articles, we're going to do like, you know, forum posts and stuff. Um, we can get we the can... forums up in time. No, I'm kidding. They're getting they're getting done they right should, now, like yeah, literally they, right now. They should be up really soon. We got uh, we got the backups and everything ready. So the big deal is like getting our convincing our service provider to let okay, us yeah. access their backups because right. they're like, uh, I don't know, well, you know, the virus, the DDoS might start launching. <laughs> they're like, come on, this is we just need to transfer using this like secure program to go back and forth, and they're yeah. like, all right, fine, and then they let us, and then like they cut us off halfway. And then, like, it was, it was that like, was so annoying. <laughs> that was so annoying. We, you literally had, ha we had a good half. I, I had like, half of the backup. Like five more minutes, five more minutes, and that's it. And they're like, they cut us off, and we couldn't get it back. Yeah, dealing with um our service, like our hosting provider, trying to figure out this issue has been a bit of a strain because we have to keep this back and forth going through emails. So it's been it's been a strenuous process. Mm -hmm. They 
it's been a strenuous project process, but we do have our backup ready to go now, and we are reinstalling the servers and everything and setting up the consoles. So should all be back and up and running fairly soon, way before New York Comic Con. So. Yeah, it sh- it'll definitely be up before Comic Con. The TTV Con. operation I, shall be intact. I think that it'll probably be up before the video is out. I'm yeah. thinking that too, but no promises. So. Yeah, no promises. What I said beforehand, and like that. The 12 hours between responses. Can you believe that? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. But this sets a precedent because not only is the first time we're going to meet up, we're going to we're wanting to go out to more uh, conventions after this. Like that the, is true. We're, we're planning is, on going to RTX next year. So right, we're planning on going to RTX next year, and there's a lot of like Lego conventions around that. I'm sure would you know our fan base is yeah. more active in that area. Might. So, maybe brick fair maybe not don't know about the brick conve- conventions just yet but yeah like the brick brick con brick fair all those i don't i've never actually been to one i don't really know what they entail but uh they from what i've heard they seem to be a good time but i have no idea we're kind of like restructuring our schedules on stuff we also really want to go to like rtx because rtx was really fun this year and of course, the launch party of Bionicle couldn't miss that. So, mm-hmm. I I think it's so funny though because we the whole reason we got our NYCC tickets was because we we were just certain that Bionicle was going to be there after SDCC. Right, right, and then like, and then you know, then after all that stuff happened, then it's know, a, it's amazing how uh, how much we've called in the past year. <laughs> we have yeah. we have called a lot, and like, not only have we called a lot, we've gotten extremely lucky. We've been very fortunate this year. Because our channel exploded once the news of Bionicle came back. I think we're, we kind of reached the peak of where we would go if Bionicle was not going to come back. You know? Mm-hmm. In terms of channel. And, we, uh, we would have probably gotten here eventually, but certainly... Eventually, yeah. But it, it would have been... I would, this would have been next year. Like, we have, like, over 9,000 subscribers now. That would have taken... I, uh, I actually watched a video that uh, LJ and Meso did celebrating 3,000 subscribers made almost exactly a year ago. Wow, that's nuts. Three thousand. That 3, is three hundred percent growth. We, <laughs> we tripled our growth in one year. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, the, you guys are the things reason. are only yeah, looking, I'm, I'm looking up. Looking forward to see if any of you will be there at Comic Con. Well, yeah, if you guys are at Comic Con, make sure to contact us because it'll be cool to see some people and have some fun. So exactly. So stay tuned. We're going to keep you posted uh, on any updates we may have about our trip, any plans we'll like to announce for stuff we're going to do, as well as up-to-the-minute up to Bionicle news whenever it comes out, even though I do not anticipate too much more between now and then, unless Lego's plans get ruined and the entire finalized wave leaks on some shop site or something, which would be funny. But if And I- if they do, <laughs> we'll be the first ones to tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but that is that's kind of how it goes. So As we have been pretty much the entirety of Bionicle's supposed return. Exactly. Supposed return. Dude, this is the No, 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 we got to remain skeptical. We have to have a little oh, bit okay. of skepticism. Right. No, no, no. Uh, what I meant was that like throughout the entire time that we have been reporting on it it was supposed. So no, like yeah. according to our sources, we internally believe it's highly true. suspect. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Highly Suspect, for giving us that tip. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, please stay tuned for more. And I'm Bordoran. I'm Messina. <laughs> and I'm Kahi. And goodbye. See you at New See York. You look like. How great is that going to be? Well, well, no bars black. That, if they watched our vlogs, they would know that. The, then again, those vlogs were made years ago. <laughs> they were made years ago. Messina looked like Justin Bieber. I don't have <laughs> I don't have my beard. Oh. Uh-huh. You don't have your beard. I wasn't even in those. That's how old those were. Okay, goodbye.